Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Noiver Nation, and we are here. We are high for week two of the NPL. Oh my goodness, we are the game of the week, and it is kind of dark. Let me turn on a light. All right, that's that's way better, man. It was dark as heck in here. All right, so we are here for week two, and I'm nervous. Um, I'm really nervous. Um, week one. Hello, we are the number one team in the league at the moment. At a 4-0 differential, only team to pull that off. Uh, this week, we're going up against a monstrous Boise Bishops team. And that's what I think they are going to bring. I think the Mega Manetric, the Lando, the Salomon. I think that week, that Ice Weakness is going to bite him in the booty. Uh, if he plays us right now, I'm going to make sure he's on. Uh, um, I'm going to make sure he message me first. I know, it's kind of challenge. Make sure all mods are at 50. We had that mistake last week. We do not want to mistake again. All at 50? Question mark. Um, but I'm ready. This is what I think he's going to bring. Um, it could be. Uh, I could see the tentacles switching out. Uh, this is the wrong team. And there was two. Oh uh, man, this is scary. Now, if he does get the Sticky Web team up, I do want to get the sub up. Let me see. Okay. Well, he brought n nothing that I thought. The Lando was right. The Manetric was right. The Clef Key was right. But the Salamence. Wow, no Salamence. Renamed Flygon. Hold on. Let me fix the layout, man. Flygon. Properties. It's a Flygon, not a Salamence. That really, uh... Really took me that. I mean, like, either way, it's the same preparation. You go in the same prep. You go in the same way you would. Uh, no Galvantula, but a Lantern property. Uh, that Lantern could be an issue, and I think it has Volt Absorb, which is why we brought the Grass Knot and not Thunderbolt. For these reasons right here. And then he didn't bring the Manaphy, which is amazing. He brought the Tangrowth instead. That's the Galvantula change. Rename to Lantern, and then the mana feed is now property uh, Tangrowth. Uh, um, I'm happy I don't have to worry about uh, any of the stupid crap that Tangrowth is. Hmm, hmm, take a chill. Alright, uh, mana feed, uh, rename. Uh, rename what's the thing But everything else seems to be what I wanted. Uh, let me say good luck. Have fun. I mean I got half his team wrong. That cleft key is gonna be a big issue, which makes me want to leave with Mew. Um I expect the prankster right off the bat. So if we can get the nasty plot or the the sub up, that could come in handy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave with Mew. I think he's gonna leave with Cleft. He did leave with the cleft key, so I'm expecting a right off the bat people. Uh, does this thing, this thing will outspeed me. So I'm just gonna go straight up to the substitute. Oh, it doesn't outspeed me. Okay, so what do you go? What does he got? Foul play. All right. Well, we are no attack investment whatsoever, so that's great for us. And now we're gonna get this nasty plot off, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go ham. We're just absolutely about to go ham. We we might have just won, honestly. Not really. I really don't think we won right off the bat. Um. Notebook kills deaths. Gotta make sure I keep checking that. Right, we're gonna get this nasty plot off. Foul play is going to break the sub because of a crit. Um, that's kind of scary. I feel like the T wave is coming next, so I do want to get the nasty plot off again or the sub off again. Uh, Switcheroo is fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, this pencil doesn't work. I'm okay with the iron ball, honestly. Um, so right here, cleft key. Oh, you. Spike with safe defensive. Uh, at level 50. How much do you want to take from a pin power fire from Mega Gardevoir? Mega Gardevoir. Oh, you support? Uh, has, it literally has four in How much do you want to take? How much does the HP fire do? Hidden power fire. How much does that one do? Oh, that's a level. Oh, at level 50. 
shown at plus two. Um, he doesn't really want to take it, and I don't think a nasty plot will break it. What I really want to do... Is a thunder is. I could potentially set up a thief here. Now, we, he has speed, so he's gonna go first. I could go into my trace elf... elf no, I'm gonna just baton pass. There we go! Okay, that, that affected my decision a lot. We're just gonna go into the thunders, and we're just gonna grass knot this thing. I don't think this thing survives a grass knot. Land turn. Uh, are you... And you... Let's go with specs. Uh, level 50. Uh, we're gonna go thunderous. Thunderous. We're gonna say oh you nasty plotter. Uh, with... Grass knot. Level 15. Plus 2. Wow, it's, it's full of max HP that still doesn't do much. Okay, let me, let me, let me calc everything else here. Hidden power. Let's go with Psychic. Does he have a, um, Dark type? He does not. He does have a Steel type, though. Not Psycho Blue Psychic. Oh my gosh, I am cold as heck right now. I don't know why I'm shivering, man. Um, Psychic, and then we're gonna go with, the. Uh, Hidden power, hidden power, ice. Now, grass knot does not do the damage. If I get to plus four, it'll do some work. Psychic will do the work. Um, we have to speed this thing naturally. We'll know if it's scarfed here, but I'm gonna click nasty plot. Yeah, okay, so it's scarfed. It's not scarfed. Uh, he's gonna go for the ice beam, break my sub. But now that I'm at plus four, psychic doesn't kill. Ice Beam will kill. Don't want to risk it this early. I mean, he could have no HP investment whatsoever. And this is max... What is this? Modest 2? Yeah, this is modest. This is the specs that this kills. So, I have faith. I'm going to click Grass Knot. It only does 48% at plus 4. And yeah, that doesn't kill. Um, a Psychic does more. So wait. How much special defense investment do you got? For an order to only take 48%. Are you like calm? Uh, not brave, but calm. AV. Yeah, you have to be assault vested. Assault. Yeah, you have to be assault vested. Nah, you can't. You can't be assault vested. Max. I I say I click psychic. I click psychic. Um, he's expecting a grass. So he's expecting a grass knot here. I'm just gonna click psychic. Cause I don't think he can live one. Okay, knocking out this thing early was key. That was great. Um, I still need a freaking pen. Where are all my pens at? Thank you. Gosh, dang. I'm sorry about that camera thing. I cannot get my. All right, so here comes the cleft key. Now, if I would have packed HP fire on this thing, I would have been stacked. Cleft key. I'm at plus four. I am doing nothing to this thing. I'm literally doing nothing. I mean, I'm just gonna click Psychic. He's just gonna talk to me. This is reasonable. 45%. I'm gonna knock this thing back as far as I can. I'm literally, I'm just gonna hit this thing as hard as I can right now. Because Psychic hits a big chunk of his team some big damage. I'm just gonna knock this thing. I'm just trying to blow this thing back at this point. But Zeus did get another kill this week, which is awesome. Zeus, nothing really wants to switch in on that. Zeus kills the Lantern. Uh, the player up, um, I'm pretty sure the Toxic will take me out. It doesn't, so Psychic, does he want something to switch into the Psychic? HP Ice is a safer. I'm gonna click HP Ice. See if he wants to keep this thing alive. Wait, is HP Ice still? It has a chance to. I mean, even if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Because this thing's basically dead. I'm gonna get HP, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna click HP Ice. I'm gonna remove this. What did I kill? The Lantern. I killed the Lantern. The Lantern is gone and out. Zeus will die. Uh, down goes the Clef key as well. So that's two big threats right off the bat. And Zeus is going to get another kill. And he's going to end this week with a nice powerful 2 and 1. So he's going to... Zeus is going to die. He kills, Zeus kills uh, Clef key. But Zeus also dies to Clef key. Dies to Clef key. Because of Toxic. To to he didn't Toxic me. Uh, that was a sweep in the making. Um, I kind of want to go into... 
hand girl is the problem. Anything? Nothing wants to switch in on a Draco right now. Uh, Scarf really hurts him. Um. I'm actually gonna go to Iro Lot. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Like, really bad. I don't think. I think we can take an overheat. Alright. Uh. Mega. Manetric. Oh, you special attacker, obviously. Chillin' at level 50. Does how much to my register? Register. Feel. Uh, I think I'm special defensive. Um, no, I'm not. I am. I need to import this set. Like, these sets need to just be imported. Because it's just control C. I'm just gonna import them. It's just me here. Control C. Import. Alright, close out my team builder. Okay, so I need Registeel, Irobot against this thing. Overheat is definitely not killing me. That's awesome. But how much is an explosion? Earthquake is gonna do crap ton. I kind of want to click explosion, but I want to make the prediction and click Ice Punch. But I think he's just gonna overheat. So special attack minus two. Yeah, I'm just gonna Earthquake, because he's probably just gonna stay here and overheat, yeah. But, Clear Body, yeah, Clear Body activates, he's just gonna- Oh, he Volt Switches! Wow, was not expecting that. Now, he's, he has two Levitators, so that's it's good for him. I should've clicked the Ice Punch. Uh, that was a bad play on my part. Um, I forgot about Volt Switch, honestly. It's right there on my screen, I forgot about it. He's gonna go into Floyd, and I'm just gonna click the Earthquake and do 94%. But, uh, my, um... Thunderous did indeed fall. It's kind of saddening, but you know what? Stuff happens. I want to click Ice Punch. Uh, what is this thing called? And Growth? I want to say it's an Assault Mist. Um, I want to say it has Knock Off. But I want to say Ice Punch is doing it. It is not. Ice Punch is not doing jack to this thing. Now, I think he's going to knock me off. Personally. Which item is the most important? It's in best mode. This thing literally. Ice Punch does some damage, but it doesn't do anything. And like knockoff is gonna do. It's gonna do a decent amount, but I'm, I'm losing my salt vest. And I feel like if this thing has Leech Seed, that's gonna be even scarier. Um. I just gotta click Ice Punch here. Uh, do the damage. They're really gonna- Hidden Power. Alright, so Hidden Power what? Fighting? Probably Fire? Probably Hidden Power Fire. I'm gonna go into Tanya, actually. They're gonna trace the Regenerator, that's useless. Uh, the Leech Seed does come, I almost went to Herbosaur. Uh, but I'm gonna go for the will o -Wisp. I'm gonna make that Willow. I don't know if he wants to switch out. But I'm gonna get the will o -Wisp off. Uh, I really just wanna get a will o -Wisp. Oh, okay, so he stays in. Uh, my, I'm not mega. Oh, there it goes. I'm like, I'm not mega. Yeah, but that burn's gonna hurt, and that sleep powder does miss, which is really clutch. I'm actually going to go into... I don't think he really has much to touch her sword, so I'm gonna go into her sword now. So that's, that's the right play to do. Uh, that actually, 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 oh man, no, if he wants to click sleep powder, that's scary, because the choice stuff is really tempting. I'm just gonna go to Herb. But if he goes into Mega Master, Herb Sword's dead. I don't see him having knockoff with sleep powder and sleep powder. If he goes to Mega Master, oh, we have an Iron Ball now, which is like half our speed, which is kind of scary. But I really want to go into the I feel like he's going to switch out. I'm going to go. I feel like he's going to switch out, but I can't risk the sleep out. I risk the sleep out on anyone that has to be me. But if I do get into Trace of Fuego with, like, four Dracos or three Nasty Plus with like a Draco, I will. Like, drop a Draco for so bad. But I want to go to Herbstore. Uh, he did stay in, and I'm pretty sure he's going to click the sleep out here. Which we are immune to. And, uh, I say he has HP Fire. I think he has HP Fire, but I have HP Ice, which is what I'm going to click. And he has three mods that are weak to Ice, and if I would have brought a Ice-type, this game would have been a different type of game. 
But Zeus did come up clutch at the beginning of this battle, knocking out two key mons in this battle, the Clef Key and the Lantern, big special monsters. Uh, knocking out the Clef Key was really important because the Clef Key is such a problem. Uh, the Landers is still there. The Mani the Magic Trick is still an issue. I still have Registeel around, um, but I don't think we can eat an Earth uh, Overheat now. Uh, OU Special Attacker. Uh, to, yeah, Registeel 50. We actually can live one. And we could fire off an explosion at that point, and that'd be awesome to get that explosion off. And then go into my Choice Scarfed Dragon and just murder. I should have probably packed. Did that pack U turn on my High Dragon? I think not, but that's fine. I'm just gonna click in our ice. I kind of want to predict the switch out and go for Leech Seed, but you know what? We have the same idea with the. I think he thinks I'm gonna have like Sleep Powder and all that jazz. But Hidden Power, Leech Seed, Sleep Powder is all. He doesn't know what I have. And I don't have anything except the Sun. Even though the Sun would be so clutch right now. Um, I think his Flygon is Banded and not Scarf. Because if it was scarfed, he probably would have sent it out against the Thunderous to outspeed and kill. Aside from the Clef Key, because the Clef Key did go down in the process. So he's going to switch out into the Flygon! Wow, that did a crap ton. Dude! I am- It's leftovers! Okay, that's actually better for me. I'm actually going to click Leech Seed now. No. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm going to click him Power Ice. Because that was such a good play. I'm, if I was Special Attack Investment, that thing would have just dropped. But like, who does he want to go into in this situation? Do I want to go into my... Because if he stays in... Which I don't think he will, because this thing will drop if he stays in. Um, but he outspeeds, so he has to have something for me. I'm going to click... Ah, this is so scary. I'm going to click in Power Ice. Like, no, because he's thinking too much. If he goes into the Tangrowth, that could be an issue. Goes into the Tangrowth, that could be an issue. But in Power Ice is everything. Hits everything really, like, it hits everything pretty hard. So, I mean, a leftover Flygon, that's something you don't see every day. Um, not gonna lie, I either see Scarfed or, uh, Bandit. Uh, he's gonna switch out into the Tangrowth, yeah, with the Regenerator. Uh, I should've probably switched out, but you know what, I don't mind this matchup at all. I don't think he has anything to touch me. So, I'm just gonna Hidden Power. I'm gonna just keep Hidden Power icing away. He gets the right play. What does he have to touch me? High Power Fire. See, like, we're just gonna keep Hidden Powering away. And he's gonna let this thing go down here to win him power ice. He's gonna go into Manetric. I should have I should have predicted that. Honestly. I'm gonna click the HP ice and I'm going to get that off. I'm actually going to leech seed this thing. Oh, he has overheat. Wait a minute. Time out, Davion. He's overheat. You need to take a timeout and just regroup yourself because you're clicking moves way too fast. Oh, uh, are we special defensive? We are indeed special defensive. This is uh, are you a defense? I've heard this already. I have them on now. We can live an overheat. We can live an overheat. And getting the leech seed off would be really clutch. So I'm gonna get the leech seed off. We can live an overheat. Look at that. I knew we could live the overheat. And now he's at minus two. And now we can we can live another overheat. So I wanna click synthesis. That's amazing. Good play on my part. Recognizing the fact that um we can live it in clicking leech seed. That's that's this is why damage caps are up. That was a really good play on my part. Um, this battle is looking pretty good. Uh, Thunder is going down early was not what I wanted. The immune baton pass uh, play worked really well in my favor. That all worked out really well, and I am looking and this is looking pretty pretty nice right now in my favor. I really like it. Um, if I have sludge bomb, he's kind of really screwed. He's gonna cook overheat again, and I'm just gonna synthesis up because I know we can live it. And I'm just gonna get the synthesis, gonna get that off. And I just click Giga Drain here. I'm just gonna click Giga Drain. Um, a Draco Meteor, Choice Scarf Hydreigon kind of rocks the world. He's gonna Volt Switch out, and I'm actually gonna click the Giga Drain. I probably should have clicked HP Ice, recognizing that. Uh, he's probably gonna go out into the Tangrowth, which makes the most sense. But a Giga Drain is gonna give me a lot of HP back on, or some HP back. Like here comes the Tangrowth. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Uh, Resisted, but you know what? I'll take the HP any day of the week. Uh, he's gonna click HP fire here. No questions about it. And now that I don't fear, the leech seed sleep powder is still a thing. Though. I'm gonna click hidden power ice. Uh, this thing goes. Oh, it's cutting it really close. Uh, he's gonna hidden power fire me, and I'm pretty sure at 
What is that? Uh, yeah, I get taken out by a, um, whatchamacallit, but he's gonna, I'm gonna click synthesis here, uh, so I can be at full H, I can get more HP in order to, uh, take out the Manetric, I can, uh, the Intimidate doesn't bother me because I'm a special attacker, um, Mega Manetric's kinda, kinda sorta, it's getting kinda crippled, it's getting down there, an HP Ice, he can't switch in the Flygon on an HP Ice, he cannot switch the Lando on an HP Ice, um, he's trying to find ways to, uh, get back into this, and he's just gonna click HP Fire, which makes the most sense, it does 22%, and looking at Overheat, uh, I live, I live in Overheat, uh, I don't know what he wants to go into, I don't know what he can go into, because the HP Ice kind of rocks uh, a lot of Mon's worlds right now. And I can freely click Leaf Seed on any Pokemon I want at this point. Uh, this is a tough call, but the Venusaur... Who? Wait, who Will-O-Wisp? Mega Gardevoir got that kill. So, uh, Titania. So, Mega Gardevoir kills Tangrowth. Um, it's looking pretty grim for him at the moment, because I HP Ice, and either way, I think Hydreigon can end up helping me clean up, along with my boy Registeel. Registeel can click Explosion on uh, the Manetric still, and literally kill that thing, right? Now uh, he's gonna go into the- he's gonna go into Simba, and I'm actually going to make a play and click Leap Speed. I feel like he's gonna knock me off, so that's fine, because I like that, but I'm going to click Leap Speed, which really helps out a lot. And at this point, I click Hidden Power Ice. I think he's gonna U-turn. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna click HP Ice. It's a good... Ah, oh, but the U-turn. I want Synthesis. I want Synthesis. Because if he clicks U-turn, then we get full HP. Near, near, dang near full HP. And the Synthesis just helps me... Er, the, 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 He's double intimidate. I have no physical attackers besides Rich Steel. That's really good on my part. I wish, really wish I had a competitive Pokemon. Uh, I don't think I drafted my Lily. He's gonna go for Earthquake, and that's gonna take me out. Well, gosh darn it. Okay, how much is Hydreigon, my amazing, beautiful Trace El Fuego, doing to this Simba, the Landora T? We're gonna say, he's not Choice Scarf, because he did use Knock Off and then a different move. But he's, let's say he's a, a physical attacker. Uh, our HP Ice actually kills it. So I'm gonna go into Trace El Fuego. And I'm gonna click HP Ice. Because I mean, wait, how much is HP Ice doing to Manetric? That's the question. Because Mega Manetric, oh, you special attacker. HP Ice. Oh, crap. I was gonna say, that does nothing. Uh, 50. I think two could take him out. It's close. And there goes that. Um, so Landers or uh, what? What is this? What is that thing called? Oh, Venusaur dies to uh, Lando and Dragon kills Lando. And Hydreigon was kind of the win con here. I think that was one big thing that helped me get to this point in the battle. Um, where is my... Uh, see now, at this point... We go into my specially defensive Tanya to eat up this API. My turn. That's what I mean. Uh, but who, 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 who died on my team? Who was it? What other Pokemon? Oh, Venusaur. Okay, I was like, who else? So we have Mew. Uh, yeah, I want to click. Yeah, I just want to go into... Because this, this thing has been con at this point. Now, the bolt switch is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. It, it clicked off. Um, this thing probably kills me. I want to click Hyper Voice anyway. We don't outspeed it, that's for sure. I know we don't outspeed it, so I'm just going to click Hyper Voice. Uh, I'll let Tanya go down. And to bring in Hydreigon, that's not a big deal. HP is kind of kind of cleaned up. It's a close call. I want to click Willow, but I want to click Hyper Voice. I do want to click Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice is the right play. Hyper Voice hits everything really hard. Uh, honestly, Draco Meteor might be able to clean up, depending on... What order they go out in? I'm gonna say you. Before we start, I mean, that doesn't matter. Uh, you're at level 50. 
uh, I got me here bopping me. Uh, what if I'm at my three? Yeah, the earthquake was gonna kill me. I knew that was gonna happen, so Mega God of War dies. Where I going? Um, um, I'm gonna click Ice Punch really bad. How much is Reggie Steel's Ice Punch doing? The Earthquake, that's the problem. Reggie Steel. I don't know why. Earthquake is doing a crap ton, but it's not killing Because at this point, Ice Punch kills. Yeah, I'm just gonna go into Reggie Steel. Uh, unless he gets a crit, which would suck really bad, I'm just gonna click Ice Punch. Because, like, a crit would suck, but at the same time, it's like, can't do anything about that. Um, my Mega Gardevoir did have to die for that, which really kind of sucked, but it's to make the plays. Like, I'm just make, trying to make the plays at this point. Um, so I'm just gonna tally up to Zeus. There's the Thunderous. Thunderous. Went 2 and 1 for this battle. Uh, Mew's not dead. Mega Gardevoir. 1 and 1. Venusaur, sadly, you know what? Venusaur did put in the work, but he didn't get a kill. Uh, Hydreigon's not done yet. Registeel. And Mew. Mew's probably, Mew's definitely not gonna get a kill because I have no attack in Mew, so unless I set up Stealth Rocks, which that's not gonna really matter too much again. And on his team, he had Flygon. Mega Manetric. Mega Manetric. Tangrowth, Klefki. There's no place I'd rather be uh, Lantern and Lando. Lantern, Lando. Uh, so this flag on still life. Uh, so Tangrowth didn't do jack. It died. Klefki did not get killed. It, oh no, it did. It went one and one. I'm sorry. Uh, Venusaur. Uh, he does go for the Earthquake, which does not do a lot whatsoever. And the Ice Flag. <laughs> well, that sucked. Really thought that would do a little more damage. Uh, I feel like he's gonna click, earth click Earthquake here. That doesn't make a play. Check. I'm gonna preserve it. He'll be expecting that. He'll be expecting that. He'll be expecting that. He's gonna be expecting that. I think he's gonna be expecting that. Oh man. Oh man. I think he's gonna click like Draco here. I'm gonna click Ice Punch. Earth. Dude, if he clicks Outrage and I catch him off guard with this, I'm gonna be so happy. He went for a U-turn! Oh, he could've clicked Explosion! That would've been dope. Alright, so Ice Punch is gonna hit this circuit pretty dang hard, if I do say so myself. Uh, that's gonna do the, that's gonna do some work. I'm gonna click Explosion right now. Uh, I don't think he wants to switch out. He's probably just gonna click Overheat. I mean, even if he clicks Overheat, Overheat's not the right play because he would kill me. Um, actually, I'm gonna take him in. Cause I want to try to see if I'll like I want to win as by as like I'll be plus seven if I finish it off this way. But I'm Mega Manetric, OU Special Attacker at level 50. Cannot kill me with anything but an overheat. So that kind of screws him. I'm gonna click close. Yeah, he has to click overheat. I should have went to me because he had to click overheat in that situation. All right, I'm gonna go into Hydreigon. Uh, Hydreigon cleans up here. Uh, Mega Manetric did get the kill. Now, Lantern went 0-1, and, and the Lando went 0-1, I know it went 1-1 and, and killed my Venusaur. Uh, this Mega Manetric is... Uh, so he just died, Registeel died. Die to uh, Manetric. Um, so I'm just gonna click Draco Meteor and just wrap this thing up. Can an HP Ice kill? Because I want to be, I'd rather be accurate than anything else. A uh, high Dragon. I mean, Trace El Fuego. Uh, HP Ice does not guarantee to kill. Draco Meteor does kill. Uh, so does Flamethrower. Can Flamethrower. Uh, what does Flygon say? Now? It's like 14%. Uh, Flygon. Um, it's not Choice Guard. But like. Oh man. Oh wait. Oh, man. I just wanna. Cause I can't, I can't, I can't risk the Draco missing. Flamethrower will kill it. I gotta click Draco. Oh my gosh, that animation though! Time out! That animation was fire! That animation was crazy cool! Alright, even at minus two, there's no way I'm missing a fate. Like, I, I just, I can't miss this. That's all I'm saying. I'm scarfed. It's game over. Because he's not scarfed. That's, that's it. So... I have to miss- he literally has to rely on me to miss this right now. Hydreigon kills freaking- what is that thing? Mega Manetric? And that's the game!
Mega Manetric. So Flygon. Or so Mega Manetric. Wait, Manetric got one kill, so it went one and one. And I lost. I won two votes. So Flygon. Did Flygon get a kill? Yeah, Flygon got a kill. Uh, so that's it. That's the game. We're two and zero. Oh. Uh, at the end, Registeel did have to drop. I mean, like, there are a lot of mons that I, I could have avoided losing, but I feel like I overall, you know what? I'm happy I won the game. This was a match that was against a rival. This is the game of the week as well. This was a game I felt like I had to win. Uh, Regis Hydreigon? How many kills did Hydreigon get? Hydreigon kills Flygon. And that's a 3 and 1 for Hydreigon, uh, 0 and 1 for Registeel, and 0 and 0 for Mew. But again, I think Hydreigon honestly deserves to get voted for Mon of the Month, or Mon of the Week, because that was a great performance. I, if you guys are watching this, and you guys see this, I, like, I'm not trying to persuade you, and I cannot vote for my own Mon, but the fact that I had 3 kills, Hydreigon didn't even go 3 and 1, he went 3 and 0. That's crazy. And Mew, Mew, the baton pass was really good utility. I good job team. Um, that was a good win this week. We're still undefeated, so we're gonna go two and zero. Oh. Don't forget to check out Alpha Tango Fox Trot. I don't know his uh, name, but check out the boys even sharp. Check out his side. Check out what he brought and why he brought it. But counter me, because he is a two zero oh is not just a not just a crazy like coincidental win. It's a good, it's a solid game. Okay, two zero. Oh. It's not like four zero. Oh. Like now I'm six plus six differential. But now we are 1-0 in our division, which is really good. And if you want to, we can check the standings really quickly. We will check the standings very quickly. And to see, like, how they how they would progress. So he's going to fall. He's going to fall. Standing. Uh, he's not going to fall because he's already he's already last. No, 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 I'm sorry. Not. But, like, we're at plus four. So now we're going to be 1-0. Who do the succulent swaddles have this week? Columbus, which is non-division team. So in order for them, in order for me not to be first in our division right now, the six, he'd have to win 5-0. 5-0. He'd have to win 5-0. Oh. He'd have to win 5-0 oh to tie with me, at least. So that's, I don't think that's happening. But that was a good battle. I'm very happy with myself. Uh, we played a good game. 2-0, uh, oh, we're going to be sitting, I think we're going to probably be sitting um, atop the power ranking still. Unless the Dallas Stormies had it, or the Portland Crobats had a really good game. But we're going to be in the top four for sure. Um, no questions asked. 6-6-0, six, six, oh, that's pretty good. I'm not trying to get, like, crazy about this power ranking stuff, because it's not important. What, in, what's important is that we won the match, and Hydreigon was the MVP of this match, getting half the kills. He took out, and the HP for Ice really came in handy. I'm very happy. Um, it was a good battle. Happy to be here. Great time. Um, I gotta go, guys. Uh, if you didn't already, kill that like button down below for us, because you already know the support is amazingly appreciated. I've officially decided that you guys are my mini nation, and the mini nation will come to you for the mini nation. With that mini nation, I gotta get it.